Hey guys, it's Adam Chow here from the Place Real Estate team at Oakwind Realty Downtown, and I'm excited for two reasons today. Number one is I get to bring you direct the August 2020 statistics from the Vancouver Real Estate Board. And second is this the first oakwind.com blog post on those statistics. So what you're gonna see over the next while is different agents jump on here and let you know what's going on in the real estate market and what you should be looking out for. So let's dive right in. So for the month of August 2020 in the greater Vancouver area, we had 3,047 sales. Now, what's interesting about this number is it's almost 20% higher than the 10-year average for August. It clocked in at 19.9%. So sales activity is way up from what we're used to in August. And actually from last August, it's about 36.6% higher. So we're seeing a lot more transactions across the board take place. Very interesting for the month of August, which is typically as, as things kind of taper off towards the end of the year. The new listings, new listings that came online for the month of August were 5,813, which compared to last year is higher by about 55%. So we're seeing a lot more inventory or a lot more listings, I should say, come on the market. And what I think is important to note here is there's a lot of people that were thinking about selling in the spring that because of everything that was happening with COVID-19, maybe they didn't come, they didn't put their house on the market. So I think now we're starting to see that almost a delayed spring market here in Vancouver. And I think there's a few reasons for this. We're seeing very tight inventory across most product types, and that's resulting in a lot of multiple offers, a lot of buyers competing for the same homes. So it's definitely, if you're a seller and you have a good saleable product, now is, now is your time to shine. And I think th there's a few reasons for this. One is everyone's a little more comfortable operating with the parameters that we're looking at right now. I think you know sellers are more comfortable allowing people into their homes. Agents are more comfortable working with proper protective equipment when we go out and we see properties. And I think buyers in general are more confident that uh, you know, they can transact as well. We're also seeing incredibly low interest rates, which uh, we had a client this week who got 1.94% for a five-year fixed. My broker as well, he also did another one this week, 1.74 with a AAA client for a five-year fixed. So money is very cheap. So if you're, if you're a buyer in the marketplace and you're going into a multiple offer, you, ha you definitely have some room to play with because money the cost of borrowing money is so low. And I think the third factor that we're also playing with is that there is limited supply. So what's in demand, so you know, lower priced product maybe out in the valley, single family homes out in the valley, um, single family detached in Vancouver as well on the lower end, super limited supply. And that's of course contributing to the market conditions that we're seeing at the moment. I'm hearing anecdotally from other agents in the office and other agents that I network with, that there is a little bit of an exodus after COVID where families are looking for more space, they're looking for more yard space, they're not looking to be in the city because they realize that now maybe they don't have to commute and maybe they can move out of town, get something more affordable and get more value. So I'd be interested to get your take on this. If you're watching this, if you're a buyer right now, is this something you're considering? And if you're an agent from our office at Oakwin, or if you're an agent from another brokerage, just comment below and let me know if this is something you're seeing with your buyers and sellers as well. Because when we look at the downtown market, the downtown condo market versus the valley, let's say Fraser Valley detached market, it paints a very different picture. If we look at the Fraser Valley on one side, sales are up, the number of sales are through the roof. Whereas downtown, the sales, the sales haven't really changed. And we're also starting to see inventory build a little bit as we get people that are looking to liquidate maybe their Airbnb properties or their investment properties as well. So as always with these market updates, I caution you that it's very specific to the market you're looking in and also the property type as well. So work with your agent, work with your trusted realtor to understand exactly what's going on in each market segment. I'm Adam Chow from the Place Real Estate team at Oakland Realty. Thanks so much. Have a great day.